Hello everyone, final community, all the people on my uh, uh, Facebook page, and just everyone out there in general who's surfing on the internet. Um, this will be the first time I will ever, I've ever reviewed an album, and I've been wanting to do one for a long time. So, um, the one I chose is from an artist I've been listening to since I was like, you know, 14, 13, 14, along there, because he's been out a long while, and um, he just came out with a brand new release about a month ago, and I, I always kind of like to uh, wait a while before reviewing an album. I like for it to uh, just be out there for a moment, you know, a little time, instead of, uh, you know, instant reviews. Yeah, a little time to sink in. And let me get just get one thing here, which I forgot to take with me. Uh, okay, so the album I'll be re I'll, I will review right now, it's the new release by Elton John called The Diving Board. There it is. I've got it on vinyl. Gatefold. And just a little background. Uh, Elton, when he went into this project, he was at the urging of his uh, producer, T-Bone Burnett, who's uh, a well-renowned producer, uh, produced a number of great artists, and had uh, produced uh, Elton's uh, The Union uh, album, um, which came out in 2010 with Leon Russell, which was very good. Uh, recommended to uh, Elton, um, perhaps he should get back to the, uh, his early music of pian piano driven, bass, drums, and a few embellishments of other instruments. Keep it very uh, minimum. So um, with that project, uh, that, that's what they did. Uh, and Elton, even uh, when he started uh, working on this album, and he took a a break from it uh, because he wanted to come back to write some more songs because he said the album was like really taking on a life of its own and some of the songs just did not fit so uh, he put the project uh, on hold uh, for a little while came back wrote some uh, uh, songs that would really go with the rest of the songs and um, the result is Elton's finest work in many, many moons. Um, some time ago, uh, Elton and his lyricist uh, partner, Bernie Toppin, made the decision to um, stop writing music to that would be uh, uh, you know, popular on the charts. and that, Don't have chart consideration. Just go back to the old days when he was a young, young artist and just, you know, create music that he feels, um, um, that he has a, a feeling for, that he cares about. And boy, when you listen to this album, um, you get that right off the sense, right, right, right off the bat. Um, I've, the, this is this album is just one Elton is really really committed and engaged with the material. Um, the '90s have produced some very good albums for Elton. Uh, he has produced some very good albums, songs from the West Coast, uh, which are really a return to form. Um, Peachtree Street. The Captain and the Kid, and The Union. Um, out of all those albums, I think this is the best because 
what I'm hearing is um, it almost seems like the Elton who created these fine releases. Madman Across the Water. Tumbleweed Connection. The Elton John album. Before he really went pop, commercial, um, he produced those really classic albums. And it's almost like the Elton John that did those albums, went away, <laughs> the, the glamorous Elton, glam Elton came and, you know, had all those commercial hits and all that, and um, suddenly um, the old Elton has come back uh, about 40 years later, wiser, and really um, made an album that, um, is rim very uh, in steep in those early releases and the diving board. Now, the diving board has uh, 12, what, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 songs, but three of those are like instrumental uh, um, inter interludes or instrumental intros for the songs. Uh, the first song, Oceans Away, is just a very, very beautiful song. Uh, the lyricist Bernie Toppin um, just came up with uh, uh, what inspired him to write that was his, his father and the uh, World War II veterans who, who are the ones who have survived and uh, just a really beautiful tribute to um, that greatest generation. Uh, Oscar Wilder gets out. Um, Oscar Wilder is, of course, if you know his story, because of a uh, of lifestyle, he was uh, persecuted. And so that song deals with that. And the next few songs, A Town Called Jubilee and the Ballad of Tom, Blind Tom, um, are really gospel-inspired. Elton's piano playing. This is the most piano-driven, piano-based album Elton has ever made. And believe me, those early releases were, were piano-based, but I, he just goes all over the keyboards and the tone, the richness of the piano playing is just beautiful. Um, anyway, the, those two songs are very like gospel field. Um, um, the Ballad of Tom Bl uh, Blind Tom is about a uh, pro prodigy uh, slave musician who uh, owner makes a lot of money off of him, you know, playing shows. Um, Dream number one is the first um, instrumental piece, which goes into My Quicksand. And what a dramatic piece. And Elton's voice on this album, his singing, he has no longer that uh, high pitch. He cannot reach those notes anymore by his own admission. But what we got is a very deep, emotional sounding voice. And uh, it, it's big. And um, it, it sounds great. And it takes full effect on my quicksand, a song of what I can interpret it about uh, about regret. Um, the other track on side one, on side two, disc one uh, of the album, can't stay alone tonight. This is like the other bookmark to. I guess that's why they call it the blues. Uh, it, it's that good of a song, and it has a great bridge to it. Uh, 
Um, next song is my, and my French is terrible, uh, V-O-Y-E-U-R, Voyeur. <laughs> uh, another song about regret, a beautiful, beautiful um, piano melody. Uh, Home Again, which was a single, and I'm sure most of you heard that. It just really, uh, um, just really Elton this, Elton all the way. Uh, take this dirty water. This is a chance we get a chance to uh, loosen up and, uh, on the album and hear um, yeah, a, a gospel feel with uh, you know um, gospel backup vocals, uh, good piano, nice melody. Uh, dream number two is uh, the intro to the new Fever Waltz, which is a dramatic piece of writing. And on YouTube, there, there's a um, where Bernie Toppin, the lyricist, um, talks about the song and about the wars and um, camaraderie among soldiers and, and the sickness and what inflicts them and through horrible wars and imageries of, of dancing on the dance floor. It's just, uh, I would say, I would break this song on the par with, you know, his as a present day candle in the wind. It's absolutely that good. Uh, Mexican Vacation, Kid in the Candlelight, just a good, you know, honky chateau type of piano driven uh, song. Uh, very fun to listen to. Uh, dream number three, which leads into the title track, The Diving Board, which Elton sings about uh, the, the price of fame, how some people handle it well and other people don't. And look, you know, you can look at the cover. And the person on that diving board, and the way his hands are, you know, is looking down into that water. Do I really want to go there? Do I really want to go there? Um, the diving board, the title track, is a very piano bar type of uh, song, which I like. It reminds me of a Sweet Painted Lady, or I've seen that movie too. Um, in, in its uh, um, uh, phrasing and tempo and all that. But what's, what's so cool towards the end, uh, some instruments, some brass instruments come in that sound like a New Orleans funeral march. And um, so that, that's a good way to end the album. Um, Another strong point of the album is uh, Bernie Toppin's lyrics. I think he is at the top of his game. And um, these are lyrics you just want to, you know, sit down with. And it does have the lyrics and a nice, um, the person on the diving board is, uh, holding the works of Oscar Wilder, which is one of the songs. And it, I got the, uh, of course, the vinyl. It comes on two very heavy discs. It comes with a download card. The packaging is very, very well done. The artwork, the whole package and everything. Uh, so, this is an album you want to sit down and listen to. It's not, um, um, it does not fit the format of today's music. It's just great, great music, great lyrics, uh, very much in the tradition of his first three albums. The production is very good. The set. The only thing I have a, a, a little bit of a gripe with is the the sound is a little bit too bassy, um, whatever that means. I I have to adjust the the tribbles and bass when I listen to it, but that's all right. 
um, very minimalistic. One thing I will note on a couple of tracks, uh, Oscar Wilder gets out. I think he's on there. Uh, no, a town called Jubilee and the ballad of Blind Tom. Um, Jack Ashford plays Tamarine on both those tracks. He's a legendary uh, uh, um, musician who played on a lot of Motown stuff and uh, the Marvin Gaye song, What's Going On, you know that block you hear, you know, you know, I can't uh, really um, make that sound, but it's on those two tracks too. The, the original block that was used for what's going on was also used on those two tracks, which is pretty cool. Um, it, to close, I will say this. If you're a big Elton John fan from the past, and you, you kind of want to you know see what he's doing, um, if you liked his really early, early work of the three albums I showed you, um, I think you'll you'll like this one. Um, you won't hear the uh, uh, you know the the top ten uh, Elton where he had all his hits. Uh, these songs they take a while to sink in, and that's the beauty. This album does not reveal itself um, on the first listen. I mean, I'm still listening to it. Each new listen, um, I can hear. Uh, uh, different, you know, angles and different things. Uh, well produced. Um, the musicians are great. Uh, I can't pronounce the bass player's name. Are are the uh, the dr drums? Jay Bella Rose. Um, but. They, they assembled a, a perfect cast of musicians for this. So, um, to me, I have a personal message to Elton, if you're still, um, uh, if you happen to hear this, keep making albums, please. Hey, you know, maybe, maybe cut back on your touring a little bit. You know, get in the studio and... Uh, you're 67 now. Let's get some more of these type of classic albums out of you, please. Um, that that is it. Um, yeah, if you really want to, you know, find out what he's doing, this would be a good album to listen to. You can, uh, it, it's on uh, uh, Spotify and I, I guess other uh, services and such. So go and listen to it and go out and buy it if you like it. Okay. Um, Thank you very much for listening to this review. Y'all take care.